Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the difference between the data import wizard and the data loader. In the case of data import wizard, you can load up to 50,000 records at a time. So if you have records that you want to insert and it's less than 50,000, then you can use your data import wizard. But if you have large number of records that you want to load into Salesforce and that's up to like 5 million records, then in that case, you have to use data loader because data import won't work at a time. Now, data import wizard supports all the custom objects. If you're trying to load data into any of the custom objects, you can use data import wizard for that. But it only supports few standard objects things uh, objects like account contact campaign member person account leads and solution so data import wizard can only be used in one of these standard objects or can only be used for these standard objects not all the standard objects whereas data loader supports all the custom and the standard object delete operation is not available and we have seen that in the case of data import wizard there is no delete operation we have operation like insert then the other operation that we have is update and then you can also do insert and update together so delete operation is not there in the case of data import but delete operation is available in the case of data loader and we have already seen how to delete records using the data loader and the next thing is if you are trying to import cases and an opportunity because only certain standard objects are supported in the case of data import. So you cannot import cases and opportunity using the data import, but you can import records into these using the data loader because data loader supports all the standard objects. Now, in when you're using data import wizard during the import process, you can ignore the duplicates, whereas in the case of data loader, you cannot you cannot ignore the duplicates. Now, other important change difference is in the case of data import wizard, you have nothing to install, right? It is a under the, it's available on the cloud data import wizard, but for the data loader, you actually have to install the data loader on your machine. So it requires installation, whereas this one doesn't require any installation. So in the exam questions might come that, hey, when which scenarios you are going to use data import wizard and the data loader. And I will be adding those kind of questions after the section has been completed. There is one more thing that I want to cover regarding the import process. And we will talk about that in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you.